Okay, so we're finally done with our citizenship test. We have been preparing for it for like um, for a week or just days before the exam. We even thought that we are not that ready for it. So me personally, I am really um, nervous or scared with the interview, even though some people who have been to the citizenship test have told me that it's not scary. It's just about you or your identity. But still, I think the thought of speaking to someone <laughs> scares me. But it's really easy. Um, easy, no hassle at all. It's very quick as well. Really quicker than we, what we thought because in the invitation letter it says it would take approximately two hours for the interview and the test all in all but I think that's just the maximum that they give because for us it's only like 15 to 20 minutes for both interview and test. Okay, so I'm just going to share with you our experience. Um, it might be different, could be different for each of us. Um, going there to the city because it was going to be in the city at Bork Street. Bork Street. Yeah, so we just rode a train going there because it's more convenient to us than in a car. So if you are decide to go in your car, then um, plan your parking ahead. And if in the train, same, um, check the schedule of the train. Make sure you get there earlier than your schedule. But <clears throat> not too early because when we get there, um, we thought that you get in the building and just sit and wait if you are um, early, but actually not you will be waiting like outside the building like literally outside um, beside the street also if you have kids um, make sure you have plan you plan ahead um, where you're going to i'm um, going to look after them because you cannot bring kids in there there's nowhere um to put them there's no um child care facility in there like i've said you will be sitting outside waiting for your turn and when you get in they're very strict they're very organized they're very systematic there's no way you can bring other people or even children with you during the appointment there's no place for them to sit or wait once you're inside the building except outside in the street so when you get in i mean when you get to the address you will know because you will see the sign of the australian government department of fair and their logo so you'll know that's the one but you cannot get in um, you will see a small group of people standing outside, some sitting in the public bench because they are waiting for their turn because you cannot just get in the building and wait there. So you have to be outside, like near the street. So when you get there, we ask the person, there's a guard like standing inside. So we showed him our schedule and he let Jeff in because he is, his schedule is 1.45 when I'm 2 o'clock p.m. We get there around, I think, 1... 30 so he's allowed to get in it's um 10 minutes before and me he told me to wait outside so i was waiting there for a couple of minutes together with the other people and then a few minutes later i think that was early actually only around 1 46 he came outside again and said um anyone for two o'clock appointment or earlier come um, line up here so i i was the first in line and he said five um he needs five people to line up um, two o'clock or earlier so there we go in so they're very like um, organized systematic which I really like so we get five of us get in and we get inside there are like five machine looks like ATM machine and there's a lady waiting and she told us um, your um, invitation letter so make sure you have it we actually print it but actually they didn't need the printed one the one in your phone so make sure that it's ready because there is like a barcode on the top right of it and that barcode you're going to scan it on those machines that look like ATM machine and after that a ticket will come out so hold on with that ticket and after that she will guide you an another door so another door get in their building going straight to the lift or elevator so to level three so when you get to level three we get um walk another door sliding door with a bunch we get inside a lot of chairs looks like a conference room but no one's sitting there just one man standing um, like a guard and then when you get in he check one of us like our receipt number and it, it's cool because it looks like after you print your ticket it would go straight upstairs because he already know what's our ticket number and he read our tickets and told us one by one go to that because when you get in that sliding door going to the right there are like counters with like numbers in it 
so he told me go to number 18 so I go there and there's like a counter and there's a, a man like the your interviewer is there waiting so they didn't wait for your time like for me i'm two o'clock so they didn't wait like two o'clock for you to get in so i think whenever there are available spot um up upstairs they would let you in already so which is good because you don't have to like really wait so it's good if you're earlier earlier than your time um, to go and then so i went there i oh, sorry so my cat is meowing because he's trapped in the room Okay, so I sit there with like, my case. I think he introduced himself. I think case manager, something like that, case handler. So I'm um, gonna sit in this chair, and then um, just in front of you is a camera because they're like, gonna take photo of you. And then here, like there's like a glass here, and then he's inside the interviewer. So it's very very quick. He even said like I'm just gonna do a quick um, questions or interview something like that. So first thing he asks for my passport. So make sure you bring um, important documents. So in your invitation letter, they will tell you what documents you need to prepare. So we bring a lot, but they actually ask just one of them. But it's good to be ready because you don't know which documents they're going to ask from you. So just bring everything that you think is relevant. So he asked for the passport and then you just confirm my address, if it's still current. Yeah, and then after that, he asked for my name. Um, it's always my name that um, I've been I'm asked when I, when things like this. So um, it's because I don't know if in other country, but in the Philippines, we use our mother's uh, maiden name and then our father. So that was my previous name. So he said you are known by uh, previous name. So I explained to him yeah, that's when I was single, and then I forgot to mention my. Um, mother's maiden name which is also in my name so he asked so he read like also um, so he read my mom's maiden name so I explained to him like yeah that's my mother's maiden name but I didn't even explain further he just oh okay your mom's maiden name that's it so he need he didn't need more explanation and then now it's um, so he read my current surname so I told him like yeah that's my husband surname when I get married so I changed my name and then he asked for like do you have any documents for that like marriage certificate so i have my marriage certificate as well so bring your marriage certificate as well if you are married or any documents that relates to your changing of name i am even nervous because i thought like he's gonna ask for like um police something police check for name but he didn't adjust the marriage certificate so and then after that he gave it back to me and then he asked if i also upload this on the online during when you submit your application so make sure it's the same you have the documents as well whatever you submit um online and that time i was confused like did i submit and i was like yeah yeah i did because i'm sure i did other because they i'm sure they'd ask that one as well online so he said yes and then he asked like um small questions like um do you have any um like case pending something like that anything like a fine parking ticket store, sorts of things i said like no not because like i can't even drive so yeah and then he said like okay and then it's finished and then he explained briefly like what will happen next the exam when you pass the exam like they'll contact you something like that and oh before i forgot they've taken my photo so the first thing they asked their passport and then they took photo and they're not really strict because I remember when I had photo with my passport in Philippines, they would ask you to remove your jewelry, necklace, and all that. But then they didn't do that. Just got the camera with like straight face, and that's it. And then so last thing like that, he asked that if you have any case or anything like that, pending record something. I said none. So then he print like another ticket. So that ticket it contains with a letter and number. So that is your login when you take the exam, and then. Yeah, it's done then he sent me to he asked me to go to that another door in there when i get there so that's just very quick question actually not even scary i was too scared to go on the interview but that's very simple so now to the test so there's a lot of people taking the exam there you have each um like a cub cubicle yeah cubicle and then your own um computer as well so you can sit there and that number he gave you you're going to type that one in because it would ask you to log in and if you have stuff like you bring your bag or documents put them under the table or on the floor because they don't want that on your table or desk 
your desk should be clear when you take the exam so there and then start the exam and yeah so actually we've been i'm also we are also worried that we have not really studied um, much without the pdf that they gave us because when you have the invitation letter for the test they are going to attach they give you a pdf of all the instructions documents that you need and what you need to read and prepare for the test so they're going to give you a link that link that would lead you to what you need to study or prepare so i feel like i haven't really read all of it but it's all good so i think it's mostly just um let's say give me i'm gonna give you an example so we don't we won't have exactly the same question because it's different some same some different even with my husband we don't have exactly the same questions even we take the exam the same day okay so just to give you an idea just what i have remembered like um for equality equality means man should like it's a multiple choice one to twenty questions like a man should be given more privilege because this this or b women should be given more rights because this this or letter c men and women should have equal so simple answer is c so those type of questions and there are also like um <clears throat> aboriginal about flags like um which aboriginal flag is um what is that aboriginal flag is colors are a black yellow red c this 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 color so those type of questions and then who um who will decide if you've broken the law like a government um c the police um c court so those type of um questions yeah and yeah one to twenty and i got hundred percent yay <laughs> so and after that when you finish the test you're going to raise your hand so that the people um uh, facilitating there will know you let them know that you finished the test and then they're gonna check your result and after that they can um, they're gonna give you this paper so this is like um congratulations you passed the australian citizenship test and then what's the next step and ask you to go to this link more information and attending a citizenship ceremony so if if application is approved so that, because the assessment of your application would continue after the exam i'm gonna send you an invitation letter from your local council council for the ceremony and when is the ceremony there's the link that they're gonna give you do not ask your local council about your ceremony you just have weights for once you've been approved you will be invited to the next available ceremony for about four weeks so do not contact your council for that travel plan because a lot of people including me is thinking can we go overseas while waiting for the ceremony so it says here overseas travel prior or before your ceremony is allowed however you may be requested to provide further information regarding your plans any overseas travel must also be done in passport or travel document issued by an authority of your current citizenship any queries okay so that means your um passport your country for me my philippine passport and also your visa your visa you're in so you have to be ready make sure your visa is not expired or going to expire when you are going to travel so yes and change of address for changing address let them know right away so yeah that's just it yep so for the travel yep it's allowed but let them know it says here please advise the department of any intended overseas travel so just let them know just to make sure if you have plans to travel overseas so that's our experience it was really quick very it's easier than we thought so we are just waiting now for them to contact us so that's it i hope it helps yeah thank you for watching